Hey there once again guys, it's Phil here for Tech Team GB. Now I know there is a certain group of people out there for whom the USB ports that come on your computers are simply aren't enough. Especially if you've got a very limited tablet or convertible or laptop or something like that with only two or three USB ports on it. And for those kind of people I found something that will probably catch your attention. Now USB 2 port hubs are not really a new invention, they've been around ever since USB 2. But USB 3 port hubs have been slower to come to the market, which is why when I saw this very neat looking USB 3 to 10, sorry not 2, 10 port hub from the guys over at Pluggable, I thought I'd give it a look, especially as it has quite a few nifty features to make it stand out from the competition. Stick around to find out more. Here is the hub in question. Plug will have gone for an inoffensive glossy back finish which, while picking up fingerprints far too easily for my liking, won't look out of place on your desk. On the top you'll find a blue power LED that lights up when the hub is plugged in, and Pluggable's logo and a brief product description. On the front there are 6 USB 3 ports, all operating at standard rated speeds and charge rates. That's 5 gigabits per second and 900 milliamps. On the rear are the 4 remaining USB 3 ports, 2 of which can flip up and provide a maximum of 2 amps worth of current, allowing for far faster charging, and you'll also see the bus connector and power jack for the 48 watt power adapter, which is running at 12 volts and 4 amps. Now my usage of this has seen a few different scenarios. Initially I clicked up a data heavy setup with loads of file storage devices, external hard drives, flash drives, that kind of thing. As expected, only 8 USB ports could supply data at any one time, at least from my experience. This is to be expected when you try and stretch one USB port this far. My power hungry setup with mobile devices connected to charge showed the greatness of the power adapter and smart firmware. All devices still got full power with enough current to charge, albeit slowly. The two fast charge ports originally only worked at 2 amps when the bus connector wasn't connected. The recent firmware update has fixed this problem, making an awesome effort from Team Pluggable. My best scenario was a mix of the two where everything played nice and worked as if they were connected to any other port on the computer. So here are my final thoughts on the pluggable 10 port USB hub. I'll start off with the negatives because honestly they'll be so quick to get through you'll forget about them by the end. Glossy plastic is something, if you already know me, I will complain about until the end of the year. It is an absolute fingerprint magnet and that will forever be cleaned by me obsessively. But again, pluggable are not alone, glossy plastic is everywhere and you can't escape it. It's just something I'm going to have to deal with. Obviously if they do release a version 2 of this and they had a matte finish, when they released an aluminium version like they did with their card reader, I would love them to bits for it because honestly that is the main fault in this. The only other fault is the fact that you can't use the two charging ports at full power when it's connected to the computer, but um, as I have found out they have released a firmware update which they've got a little tool you can download from their website and update the firmware where you can still use the 2 amp charging, I believe it is, from these two ports whilst connected to your computer and I think you can charge and sync at the same time which honestly, thumbs up to Playable for actually fixing that. A lot of manufacturers just released it and then left it to be like, oh, people can deal with it. But really, this is something that people want. This is something I wanted while I was testing it and only just realized when I looked on their website to get the details for this review that they'd released. So honestly, thumbs up to Playable for sending out that fix. Let's move on to the positives. And guys, I've said it once in my other videos by Playable and I'll say it again. They are an awesome peripherals company. They put so much thought into these peripherals compared to other peripheral companies out there, it's unreal. Everything here is needed. They haven't included anything unnecessary. They've just got it simple here. 10 USB 3 ports, two of them supercharged, no messing about there. They haven't thrown in some USB 2 ports so they can scrimp on a couple of pennies so they can increase their profit margins a little bit. Um, they are the only minor design flaw they had, they fixed. Um, it's a sturdy, albeit plastic design, so it doesn't feel like it's going to break, it's going to stand the test of time probably. Um, it's got the 48 watt, it's not just a cheap little power supply, they've got some serious power, they've got a serious power break behind this. So you're going to get full power to all USB 3 ports, so you can get power hungry devices running, no problem whatsoever. And honestly, I couldn't recommend it enough if you're looking for a USB 3 10 port hub. And even if you're still looking at USB 2, I would consider shelling it out just to future-proof yourself. Now, obviously, I'm going to talk sensible for a little bit here. I'm going to stop showering it with the praise that it does deserve. 10 ports is a lot of ports, and obviously not everyone is going to be needing that. Plug will know this, and that's why they do have 7 port and below hubs. Um, unfortunately, I haven't had the time or money, sadly, to get my hands on some of them. Hopefully I will. I'll have a nice talk to them, see if what I can do 
and C, I'm doubtless that they will be up to the same standards as this, but do check out their Amazon Marketplace. Um, they've got a bunch of these in different uh, factors. They've got seven, I think do five, three. Um, they all do all, all different kinds. Obviously, you just need to check it out. And they're designing more all the time. So who knows? Maybe they're going to come out with a 20 port for for me because I did manage to fill all these ports while testing, as I said, which I'm not proud of. Obviously, some people are going to look at the price and think for a USB hub, that's a little bit steep. But do remember, this is quite a premium thing. You're getting 10 ports, all USB 3, two of them high power. Um, I'm sounding a little bit like I'm on repeat here, but these are some pretty awesome specs for a USB hub. And honestly, it is good value for money if this is what you're looking for. So I can't be any hasty enough to recommend this to anyone looking for one. Anyway guys, thanks for watching this Tech Team GB video again. I've been Phil. If you like this video, click the like button. If you dislike it, hit the dislike button. Leave a comment down below saying if you could possibly fill a 10 port USB 3 hub. I know I did, but <coughs> that's besides the point. Um, if you want to buy one of these, there's an Amazon link in the description below. Uh, I've also got a link to their marketplace um, for their other hubs. So if you don't need all 10 ports, don't let that put you off. They do some other awesome ones. And yeah, I think that's it. Thanks so much for watching this video and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.